Hi guys, welcome back to another episode in Nail Art 101. This is a series on my channel where I'm not really trying to teach you about nail art, but more where we can go over together some basic techniques in nail art that are going to help both you and me grow our work as artists as we're trying to grow our nail art techniques. So um, we've done a number of them in the past. Check out my Nail Art 101 playlist or my tutorials playlist. Today we're going to be talking about French tips, how to create them at home. So the French manicure is a gorgeous, timeless manicure, um, but how can you create this at home? And there's going to be a few different methods I'm going to show you today of how to do the super basic French tip on your nail, and then we're going to take it up a notch like I always like to do in this series where you can practice a little bit more um, you know, different parts of nail art. So this here is the basic look. So of course this manicure doesn't really go together. Three of them look very similar to each other because they're just your basic French tip. I created those three um, tips on the pointer, the middle, and the pinky finger using all different methods. And then of course the one on the ring finger um, is very different. That's probably why I wouldn't wear this manicure together, but you know, I'm going to demo all these ways for you and then we're going to use some other techniques to maybe make this manicure a little ex more exciting, take it to the next step. So here's the products I used. Pretty Serious Absence um, for some detail work. I used Pretty Serious Presence for all of the tips. And then I used China Glaze Hot Flash for one of the fingers. And then this Sephora by OPI, um, it's kind of a very French tip looking nail polish. You can use any one. Here's a, um, these are two decals, two different kinds of decals I'm going to use. It doesn't have to be brand specific. And here are the two nail art brushes. I'm using a striping brush and I'm using a very sm small detail brush that I created myself using scissors. So the first way to create your French tip is just to freehand it. That may sound scary. Um, but honestly, I think this is my favorite one. This is my favorite method because um, once you practice your freehanding a little bit more, um, this just gives you, I don't know, its there's an ease of motion. You don't have to worry if your decal is going to mess up in any way. You just kind of eyeball it, and if you don't get it exactly straight on, you know what? I bet you nobody's going to notice. Like as you're looking at this here, you're thinking, okay, that's not perfect. Well, yeah, we're none of us perfect. And the other thing is, is nobody's really going to notice. Nobody's looking at your nail this up close. I always say this in this video because I don't want you to stress out about your nail art. Nobody's really going to be looking it up close, but it's going to make a striking appearance from far away. We're going to use that French tip um, nail polish from Sephora by OPI that is called bear to be different and that's going to be our top coat. You can do an extra top coat after that too if you want. Here's the second nail. This one is using the decal. So this decal is from a brand called Edubus. I'll list it here on the screen. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that but you can use any decal you want. So this is just a basic French tip decal. It takes a little while to press it on there to make sure it's in the exact right spot but you basically just get it on there, get enough um, polish on there and then you just pull it off um, sometimes it doesn't always get precise. That's why I like the first method. And sorry that my hand was in the way. As you can see um, there, you can see my damaged third finger where my nail was hit really hard. It won't look like that on you. <laughs> so basically, angle the detail where your natural, or the decal where your natural um, part of your nail starts extending away from the bed of your nail. So here is the third method and this is again using a decal but this is a different kind of French manicure that if you haven't or French tip if you haven't tried this before I encourage you to try it. It's really fun. It may seem a little bit out there at first but once you've got it on it's super duper chic. Um, this is one that definitely draws the eye, makes people go oh that is something kind of different and when you lift it up it's such a nice crisp if you, if you get your decal right, so that's the thing about decals, they can go wrong. But if it lifts up just right, it's such a nice crisp line. So again, I'm putting that French manicure looking polish on the top here, just kind of evening everything out and you can go in with a top coat if you want. So the fourth way that we're gonna demonstrate and this is again freehanding, but this time I'm gonna use a striping brush and I'm gonna freehand my line here. So this is kind of just a variation on the first technique I showed you where you can just use this if you're a little bit nervous about just going straight in with the white polish or the green polish or blue or black, whatever color you're using to do your French tip, 
use some color. That's always super fun. I love colorful French tips. So you basically use that line at first and then you go in with your polish. And if that helps you feel a little bit more confident, then go for it. The only thing that I don't like about this is sometimes that line looks more raised on the nail than the rest of the tip. Kind of depends on the polish, on the brush, how much you put on on that initial one. So, you know, of course that's an option. So here I'm going in with that top coat to smooth everything out again. So we're gonna move on to the more, you know, maybe more advanced. Here's what our looks are gonna look like. So we're gonna do again, four different things here. And all of them are each very fun. I don't think I'd wear this manicure on its own this way, although I do currently have it on my hands and I had compliments on it today. But just for me, because it's such a mixed bag, I would probably just like wear all, you know, tiger print or all stripes or something. Okay, so this first one, this is the one that I just did the freehand. So I'm going in with a very small detail brush. I'm actually using nail polish this time. Usually I use watered down acrylic paint. I want to go ahead and show you, you can use nail polish. You don't have to use acrylic paint. Um, one of the things about acrylic paint is sometimes it dries a little bit cracky looking and it dries matte, so sometimes you don't want that. Or maybe you just don't have acrylic paint on hand and you just want to be able to use your nail polish. Well, you know, here's an example of me doing that. The only thing about it is, is it dries on your palette way fast. So um, the other thing, is that I've been using, uh, well actually for a little while, it's a silicone mat, a bunch of brands have it. This brand, Ejubis, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that, that I uh, used the decal earlier from, sells one too, and it's really nice because you can use it as a palette. You just put the nail polish on it and then you just pick it up. So that's what I did here, and I just basically painted on a line there to separate you know, the nail polish from the rest of the nail, and that was pretty much it. All right, so the second nail, I'm basically gonna start out doing the exact same thing I did for the first nail, so I'm speeding you through this part. I'm just painting a line using that deal tail brush right along the line we already created using the decal or freehanding, whichever one you were trying. As you can see, like I said, my third nail is severely damaged right there in the middle of your scene where I smashed it on my recliner. I'm trying to deal with the fact that I'm about to lose this nail. Anyway, so now is where it's gonna get a little bit interesting. I thought about doing checkered nails on this, but that is actually kind of tricky in itself because you have to make full squares out of the black. This is, this is a little bit less tricky than this. So this is what we're gonna go with. So it's just striping through the white portion of the nail. I love white and black nails. White and black anything, it's just so classic. Um, but as you can see here, you will see in a second, one of the problems with using nail polish is it dries really quickly. So see how it's making, it's already making that little bit on the end of like, um, that's not even, that wasn't even a piece of like lint or anything right there. That was the nail polish, um, drying so fast that it was creating these little like flyaways. So then what will happen is if you don't grab that, it's going to get on your surface of your nail art. So that's something to keep in mind. But anyway, I'm just creating these stripes. I'm trying to keep them uniformly spaced out along the nail. And you know, some other variations of this, like I said, you could do the checkerboard. That's really fun there. Look, I'm having to get off that little piece of paint again. Um, you could outline this whole part completely. So basically we outlined right up next to, um, you know, the nail bed line in our nail and you could continue to outline the whole nail. So like all the way where the nail goes to the edge. So I'm gonna speed things up here because we're basically gonna just continue this exact same thing. And you guys don't have all day to watch this technique, right? <laughs> we're just creating stripes. If you wanted to, you could do this using striping tape. I probably wouldn't just because I don't have the best luck with striping tape or decals. I, it just always peels up, pulls up my work. I don't know. I, I need to work on it more. I mean, that's the point of this series is to get me to work on the techniques that I need to work on. But so anyway, here's our finished product. We're going to put it that, um, oh, I'm using um, KB Shimmer clearly on top, quick drying top coat here, being very careful not to drag the black up onto the other part of the nail. This had already dried for at least 10 minutes, I think. Okay, so we're going to move on to this third nail. This was the really fun, shocking, deep V plunge nail, so fun. So I wanted to incorporate a little bit of color while still, you know, maintaining my, you know, pretty white and black looking manicure I created here. But I thought, well, 
introduce some color. You pick any color you want. This is a really chic way to do it because of course red still plays into the very black tie look of these black and white nails. But again, I'm just taking this detail brush that I created myself by chopping away at it, making it very small, and I'm just following that line again. We're not really breaking the mold here with anything. We're following the lines we already created. Actually, I'm gonna go away from that line here in just a second. <laughs> but for the most part, we're just, we're accentuating or um, accenting, no, we're accentuating the line that we already created. So I'm just actually gonna do, continue this all the way off to the tip of the nail. If you ever have a hard time with your endings of your lines, that is a good technique to help you um, not struggle so much with that. Because if you take it off the end of the nail, well, then the end is naturally created for you. That's pretty helpful. <laughs> All right, so I'm speeding this up here again. We're gonna create a second line. This one was maybe just a slightly, you know, just maybe slightly thicker than that first one we created. Not noticeably so. Um, but because it wasn't on the line, it's easier to make, you know, maybe a few wobbly mistakes and thickening up your line is gonna help you cover up those a little bit better. I decided to keep this, um, you know, asymmetrical all on one side, I felt it gave it a little bit edgy of a look. It was just kind of what I was going for. So anyway, that second line, and you take it all the way off the nail and give it a nice top coat, a careful top coat. There's nothing worse than smearing your nail art after you've worked so hard on it. Um, KB Shimmer isn't necessarily my favorite one. I have a whole bunch though that I'm trying to work my way through. And so today was the day for the KB Shimmer. So. Um, this is the last one. So this is the one that I created the um, French tip using an initial freehanded just line to give us a guide. I thought let's do some animal print on this one. That is really fun. I don't think I've ever done a full hand manicure with animal print just on the tips. That is really fun and I have to say that these tip manicures are really, really fun now that my nails are so long, but they're gonna be short again soon. And tip, you can do French tips or, you know, tip manicures with short nails, you can. Um, you just maybe don't have quite as much space to work with, obviously, um, or you can just bring it down further into your nail bed. So anyway, tiger print, Kind of looks a little bit like zebra print. Both things, both of these two kinds of prints, the aim of it is non-perfection. With animal print, you don't want things super uniform or it's not gonna look as real as it maybe could have. Of course, our nail art isn't gonna look like we put an animal print on our nails, nor would we probably want it to, <laughs> but we're just going for the effect. So. You're basically just creating lines and then creating some bumps in the lines and you're just alternating. Like see how one of them goes down on that one side and then it goes up on the other side. You're just kind of alternating where the lines are. This was not based off of, actually none of today's manicure was based off a of reference photo. I just kind of eyeballed everything. But yeah, so this one is the only one is it the only one? Yeah, it's the only one that doesn't have a harsh line to accentuate our nail tip line, you know, as the white departed from the rest of the nail. So it also gives you kind of an idea of that look if you didn't want to put that harsh line on here. Sometimes when it seems like I'm taking a while to keep painting is because I'm painting with nail polish and I, oh, there you see the little piece came up and I was like, oh, I don't want that to get on my nail. Sometimes when you're painting with nail polish, well, not sometimes, all the time, it dries really fast. So you have to get out more polish and just re, you know, wet your palette to give you some fresh polish. Cause once it gets sticky, dry, tacky on there, it is no bueno, no bueno. So um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of it there. And here comes my last top coat, being extra careful on this one because this is the one that I did last and I did not wait as long as I should have. Be careful with your top coats. All right, and so we have arrived at the end. That was the fourth and final nail. Here is the look again as the not so basic French tip. And there's nothing wrong with being basic. 
doing your basic French tip is super chic and elegant and a great way to practice your freehand or practice your striping tape, practice your decal work. Um, but you know me, I always like to take it to the next level. I figure if we don't push ourselves every day, how are we supposed to know the greatness we can achieve? Now, be assured I'm not trying to say that this piece of nail art here is a work of greatness. I just mean in life, you know, if we don't push ourselves with anything, anything we are focusing on gaining strength you have to push yourself and have to give yourself the chance for failure or you won't have a chance for success so keep that in mind play with your nail art don't be afraid to try new things to try things that look like they might be way too difficult they aren't you just have to practice and you just have to have fun so I hope you give some of these a try. If you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I had so much fun when you guys were tagging me. Um, was it last week or the week before? It was on the gradient week. When you guys were tagging me um, your nail art on Instagram, I loved that. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I will see you guys back for my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, if there is a specific technique you would like me to go over, leave it in the comment section. Or if there's a specific nail art look like maybe some of the ones you saw in the beginning of this video, I just put those on there so that you're not bored like you are right now staring at this same picture for a long time. I just put the nail art on there at first so you have something to look at while I'm talking to you. Um, but if you would like me to give specific tutorials on any of those looks, I'd be more than happy to. Just leave it in the comments. I love you guys. Thanks for spending some time with me and hanging out today. Go out and have a super great day and don't be afraid to be brave and try something new. Stretch yourself and I will be here to congratulate you when you succeed. You just got to tell me about it so I know and then I'll be like, yeah, go team Jen. Go team Michelle. Go team Savannah. Go you. All right. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye. This first one is the green shimmer, and this is like a light yellow green, and it has yellow shimmer going all throughout it. Really, really pretty. It's called Martinique. These bottles, um, they say they hold 13.3 milliliters, but I know this size of bottle is like a 15 to 17 milliliter size bottle. So it's a pretty 